the wheels you feel Five. on the blow would be quite happy here simply Six. to win the ball and get it off the park and that would signify a very sound opening 40 minutes from this Welsh team but Ireland have got the drive on here and they've won a late penalty in this first half and that will puff out the green chess at just the right time off goes Heasley can Ireland finish this half with a try Francis comes in and he's pulled away Craig Joubert points in the Irish direction Jordy Murphy Ireland are normally very good in these situations they have the what you would call the opposite of white line fever they're able usually just to go through the phases nice and patiently and then strike when they feel the defence is stretched or they can find a way through the middle here is Robbie Henshaw he takes that route Dan Lydiot makes another tackle for Wales Jordy Murphy this time Ken Owens tackles him Connor Murray is Jack McGrath outside and again it's Reese Webb who makes a punishing tackle and they're all at it here in those Welsh shirts it's been a gargantuan first half defensive performance from all of the men in red Murray Johnny Saxon yet again it is the kick for Carney to chase and that is gathered by George North but there was a penalty coming Ireland's way I think he had the penalty coming but how quick was Reese Webb off the line there and Jack McGrath Tipperick off the line Wynne Jones and O'Connell incredible defense yeah, we'll disapp we'll be disappointed with that. they switched off in that scrum and a scrum has been really good throughout the game they switched off they were thinking about half time you can't afford to switch off so that whistle is blown Murray O'Mahony Connor Murray Ian Henderson oh huge man is Ian Henderson can he use that 6 foot 7 inches to stretch for the line and the green machine at last has rolled into action well what a try from Henderson we spoke about the step earlier on that power that incredible power and surge of pace he has it all comes from a quick penalty again O'Mahony makes the hard yards here just gets him that little bit go forward quick play of the ball isolated on Dan Bigger and he's able to reach out to great power and pace through I, I think it came from that poor scrum initially but how hard did Ian Henderson work to get around the corner? You've got to work really hard. The end of a hard 40-minute slog, work so hard to get wide and around the corner and make yourself an option. Well, an absolutely fascinating and absorbing first half of World Cup warm-up rugby. This has felt like a true, full international hit-out.